Assalamu alaikum. Within the past year, we've witnessed the spread of anti-First Amendment legislation being introduced in states across America. Beginning with a so-called anti-Sharia ballot proposal in Oklahoma, several states such as Tennessee have put forth legislation to gain cheap political points using xenophobia and Islamophobia. As many in our nation are currently experiencing difficult economic times, during the tenure of America's first black president. Since the proposal of such legislation in Oklahoma, fear mongering about Sharia has made Michigan a focal point of well-coordinated anti-Muslim campaigns. From Sharon Angle, who ran against Senator Harry Reid last year for his seat in Nevada, to fringe so-called Pastor Terry Jones, Michigan, especially Dearborn, has been falsely accused of having its government controlled by Sharia. Based upon the hoopla made over Dearborn and bigoted efforts focused on Metro Detroit, such as Pamela Geller's Leaving Islam bus campaign, we knew that such legislation would eventually be introduced in Michigan, and now it has. Michigan State Representative Dave Ajima, who also introduced an Arizona-type immigration profiling bill into the Michigan House, has introduced House Bill number 4769. Bill number 4769 is simply a modification of the Tennessee Anti-Sharia Bill, which excludes the actual word Sharia, a strategy developed by far right-wing Zionist bigot attorney David Yoroshami. Knowing that this bill would be eventually introduced, we, beginning in March, met with various state representatives and senators and discuss the motives and potential harm that such legislation would do if enacted in Michigan. Though we are confident that if passed, this bill will be overturned in a court as being unconstitutional, we want this bill stopped in its tracks beforehand. Please call your state representative and ask him or her to vote no on House Bill number 4769 the Restriction of Application of Foreign Laws Acts. If you do not know who your state representative is, log on www.house.michigan.gov. As a community, we must tell our lawmakers that we do not support legislation from anti-immigrant, anti-Muslim bigots who seek to gain cheap political points at the expense of our broader community. To support our advocacy in this endeavor, and in the event that a legal challenge is needed to be filed against this bill, please log on our website and donate at www.cairmichigan.org. Again, www.cairmichigan.org. And remember, freedom is not free. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.